Saturday Social is powered by FIFA 22 with PlayStation. A lot of talk on social media about uh, yeah. strikers this week because it was a good week for a lot of players at the top of their game. So let's start by sort of dissecting it as the week went on. So Monday night, first of all, we saw Harry Kane score a couple of goals against Everton and it was significant goals as well because as you can see here, uh, it took him above Thierry Henry in the all-time list of Premier League goals. So he's now the sixth highest Premier League goal scorer of all time. And as you can see, there's only one goal behind Frank Lampard. So that happened on Monday. Then on Tuesday, uh, we saw Robert Lewandowski uh, from one top player to another score a hat-trick inside 23 minutes in Bayern Munich's 7-1 win on the night. 8-2 aggregate win, incidentally, over <laughs> Salzburg numbers. in the Champions League, which led to Bayern Munich tweeting this. Now, these numbers are... All goals for Bayern Munich uh, in all competitions each season. And I've done my maths. I mean, this is just unbelievable. 311 goals. I was going to say seven seasons, but it's not even seven seasons because we're still playing Six and uh, this season. So that was Monday. Lewandowski was Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, Karim Benzema got in on the action mm. as well. Uh, perhaps probably the most dramatic of all three because he scored uh, an unbelievable hat-trick in Real Madrid's comeback win. Really dramatic win over Paris Saint-Germain, uh, which led to his teammate, Thibaut Courtois, tweeting this. Karim Benzema is the best number nine in the world. Lewandowski scored three goals yesterday, but two penalties. <laughs> Today, Benzema showed why he should be higher in the Ballon d'Or. So it got us thinking in the office, Joe, about who is the best number nine in the world right now. So do you want to explain the sort of criteria behind that? That teed out perfectly, that Thibaut Courtois, didn't it? Courtois, didn't it? That best number nine in world football. So that's exactly what we're going to decide today. Okay. We're going to ask our guests to pick their best number nine in world football. Now, we're going to try not to include wide forwards mm. slash you know inside forwards mm. like a Mo Salah for instance mm. who probably is the best player in the world yeah we're going to try and disregard him for the number nine chat and keep it to central strikers as much as possible but if you want to throw in a Haaland or an Mbappe yeah, other names that's the three. not in those three yeah, absolutely. perfectly fine to do that OK, so let's start I by think. talking about the, the three in sort of chronological order from the week they had. Uh, Harry Kane, first of all. In t Dave, in terms of where he is in terms of all-time Premier League, he's now 84 goals. Uh, he needs 84 goals to break Shearer's record at 28 years of age. Do you think he will break that? It's difficult. I think it's around, you know, 30 goals a season for a few years. So it's a tough one to mm. do. But Harry Kane has, has taken a bit of a hit this season, hasn't he? Obviously, the transfer speculation at the start of the season, that affected his confidence. But right now, he's playing some really good stuff. Yeah. You know, go back to that City game. Instrumental, not only with putting the ball in the back of the net, but his link play was superb. His passing range is something that is yeah. so, so good in there. And you take two, uh, 2022, sorry, six goals and two assists, the most in the Premier League. Mm. I think right now, he's playing some really good football. But I wouldn't put him in that category up there with Ben Zeeb and Lewandowski right now. I think those two, because they're doing it in the Champions League, I think yeah. we give them a little bit more of a pedestal there. But that is not to disrespect Harry Kane. On Kane, uh, Roy, it's an interesting point you made about his versatility. We've seen like Ben Zeeb, uh, sorry, Lewandowski's numbers often as an out-and-out -out number nine w w would be higher than Kane's. But do you think Kane is perhaps the more versatile of those two players in terms of the fact that he can play as number nine? We've seen him play as a ten. Jamie Carrick in the week said he thinks he's one of the best passers of the ball in the Premier League. Has he got the most sort of all round to his game? despite yeah. the fact he might not have the goals of the of the comparative levels of um, Lewandowski. No, absolutely. I think in terms of being a deep-lying centre-forward, I mm. think he's fantastic. And I think in terms of what that means for his pursuit of the record, mm. I think it bodes really well for him because the way that he can lie so deep, the way that he can dictate, dictate play, the way that he isn't so reliant on pace... I think that his career has a long way to go. And, you know, the people are constantly talking about the speculation of whether it's in his interest or a club's interest to sign him. I think that Harry Kane's going to be an elite footballer for a long time to come. I don't think he's going to be... You know, he's not reliant on that burst of pace. He's a very intelligent footballer. Mm. So I think that he is absolutely brilliant, Kane. I think mm. he's top tier. But do you think he catches Shearer? I think he catches Shearer. I think, I think oh, Harry yeah. Kane... I think Harry Kane will end his career as a Premier League top goal scorer, yes. And England top goal scorer as well, do you think? And England top goal scorer, yes. And trophyless, unless he leaves. Top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he had to get that in, didn't he? Had, had to get, get that in. in. Kane's definitely um, the England top scorer because he scores six against San Marino every time he plays. Yeah, I think he only needs six more, doesn't he, as well? To yeah. break, uh, Rooney's all-time record, I believe, is 53. He needs six more to break that, so he's on, he's on course to break that. Um, let's talk Lewandowski then next. Yeah. Uh, what a player Lewandowski is. Um, incredibly never won the Ballon d'Or. Obviously, we had the 2020 Ballon d'Ors wasn't awarded due to COVID. 2021, the most recent one, he came second to Messi. What did you make of that? Do you think that that should have been... Um, his Ballon d'Or. He's got 41 goals in the Bundesliga. Exactly. Like, yeah. there's, there's no <laughs> argument there. 41 goals, he broke Gerd Muller's record. Can you believe he's never won the Ballon d'Or? I think oh, that's I can't, can't crazy. I think they got, should go back and give him the Ballon d'Or that season when they, they canned it. I think that was mm. the season where he was yeah. so good. Bayern won the Champions League. And you look last season, if he was fit for that Champions League run, you'd probably think they win that as well. You know, they, they have the structure around there for Lewandowski to shine. And, 
you think when you when, you know when you look at him, you know the, the graphic that you guys showed before, I was a little bit good because I did actually memorise those numbers: 42, <laughs> 43, 41, 40, 55, 48, and 42 this season. <laughs> wow. So that was a waste of time. I spent all that time in the hotel room, just sat there, just chilling, and now, oh great, cheers, that's guys. Works. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. But some more insane numbers: 12 goals so far in the Champions League, yeah. three assists. Yeah. In terms of per 90, it's 1.95 goals or assists per 90, which is incredible numbers. He basically is going to beat Cristiano Ronaldo's record this season, in my opinion. I think that's going to happen if Bayern get to the latter stages, which they will do. Of single goals in a campaign. Single goals yeah. in a campaign. I think that's that's something that, you know, right now when you watch Bayern Munich, you consider that Alfonso Davies isn't there, Goretzka's not there. Yeah. They're just going to get better. Mm. They've been a bit open to the transition, but I think those two players really help that out. But Lewandowski, for me right now, is you know, the best number nine, I think. I'm going to put my hat on it and say he's the guy right now for me that's playing at that high level. Yeah, we've got to talk about Benzema as well because Honestly, Thibaut right. Courtois was, was hyping him up. We can have yeah. a look at kind of the comparative record so far this season yeah. uh, because it is incredible, Rory. Mm -hmm. And he scores so many big goals, Karim Benzema. That's it. Big game player. And that's worth its weight in gold. Like, I, th I think Benzema is... is amazing truly amazing mm -hmm. and he's the, the fact that he's a big game player is is so important and i just think that kind of cumulatively benzema deserves this you've got to remember he was a foil a lot of the time for cristiano ronaldo's yeah. brilliance and you know when you think about ronaldo at real madrid or historically real madrid great doesn't matter whether you go right back to di stefano or you bring it more to raul mm. i think carrying benzema is now in that conversation i think he's in the pantheon of all-time real madrid greats mm. And if you are that, yeah. the Ballon d'Or has to come his way, even cumulatively. You know how Leonardo DiCaprio won an Oscar? So <laughs> got it eventually. I reckon that Karim Benzema has to get a Ballon d'Or simply yeah. on that logic. Um, so if I were picking any of these, I think Kane is probably the most all-round footballer. Yeah. I think he's, the, he's probably the best footballer. Mm. But it's almost... We'd be doing either of the other two an injustice. Yeah, for sure. Because they... He just doesn't turn up in the big games enough. The lack of silverware is a factor. So for me, this is carrying Benzema's all day long. Mm. Do you feel Benzema's been underrated? But there was obviously the fact that he wasn't playing for France in yeah. World Cups and European Championships for non-footballing reasons. Then, of course, in Real Madrid's... Well, they've had so many glory years, but they had the likes of, you know, the Ramoses, the Bales, more notably Ronaldo. But he was still scoring goals at all those mm. times. Do you feel like he's only just getting the praise he deserves? Because his numbers have been consistently good for ages, Well, he they? stepped in. He stepped in, didn't he? You mm. know when Cristiano Ronaldo left... He was the person that filled the void. Like, they are huge shoes to fill. Mm. And I think he's done it admirably. And I think you're right. I think if he... I've never met Karim Benzema, sadly. But <laughs> if his... I think his conduct, perhaps away from football, does have ramifications on the way that he's viewed in a footballing context. But if we keep it strictly, how do you perform on a pitch? He's sensational. Mm. Sensational. And, you know, the other day... I just knew that he was going to be on the score sheet. Yeah. You could sense a vulnerability, yeah. you sense a vulnerability in that PSG team and you just know that the player to exploit it is Karim Benzema and you can't say the same about Harry Kane. Even when you know there's a vulnerability on a huge game, on a huge platform, he potentially doesn't exploit the weakness. So just to confirm, you're saying Kane probably the, the, the best in terms of foot, all-round footballer, but number nine, you're going Karim Benzema, best in the world right now. Uh, and you're going Lewandowski, number I, nine. I am, right but now. that's not to say that Karim Benzema isn't, you know, an unbelievable footballer. And this season, he, you know, carried Real Madrid in the first few months of the season. You know, his goals, his assists mm. were so important mm. for them. And I do think I kind of agree with Rory in a sense of like his overall play is, you know, the 10 assists in the league, exactly. the 20 goals. Like, mm. That is a big part of it. But the way that he kind of took on the mantle as this carrier and the guy that's stepping into the shoes, the clutch player, I think when we look at it in a sense, it's a little bit like, you know, Lewandowski, maybe now the Messi type player where he's scoring all the goals and getting other things. And then Benzema, big moments. Mm. The, the, the PSG game, I agree with Rory, the goal was coming. You could see how the yeah. pressing was very good. The, the, how he was getting his teammates up was very, very good. Yeah. And how instinctive that last finish was. That finish, was, I was going to say, the last so, finish. The third goal. The last finish for the third yeah. goal.